greetings and blessings and much love to you all. Thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome to Nanabe's Kitchen. As you can tell, Sister Madame is happy because I am making one of my all-time favorite dishes. Wache, rice and beans Ghanaian style. And all you need are a few ingredients. Your black-eyed beans, your rice, your salt, and your bicarbonate of soda. And for this recipe, you're going to need three cups of black-eyed beans. The more beans you have in your wache, the more delicious it is, and also the more authentic. And this recipe is gearing towards more of the authentic uh, style of preparing wache. So far, we have soaked the beans for just two hours so that we are able to soften the beans and also it helps to get rid of that gassiness you get from eating beans. And we wash the beans, put the beans into the pot we're going to be cooking the wache in and then we added some water and the water must be a lot because you have to keep in mind the rice will be joining the pot very soon. Next, we added some bicarbonate of soda. And what this is, is actually an alternative ingredient to the local ingredient we use in Ghana, known as kanwe, kanwa, or akao. And what akao is really is a base. It's an alkaline foundation. So it's going to help soften the beans and also neutralize the acidity in that environment. The bicarbonate of soda is also going to bring us that brownish, authentic wache color and taste too. Now, we have set the beans on the stove at medium heat until cooked to where the beans are mashable, but not too soft. Authentic. Perfection. This is exactly how mashable you want the beans to be. And this is exactly the right time to also introduce the rice. And the broth from the beans has the perfect color as well. This is what's going to color the entire wachi in the end. So let's wash some rice. And you'll need three cups of jasmine rice, preferable, or any long grain rice that has a good or significant amount of starchy content because you want your wache to cook not fluffy, but rather soft and have an easy nature to Friends, it. Friends, so our beans are ready. Rice have been washed, so now we're going to combine both components. And now is the right time to add your salt or any seasoning you prefer to cook with. All right, and also when the rice joins the pot, so they both get seasoned equally. Now you want to stir to combine everything, but also to help you gauge where the moisture content is at. All right, we're cooking on medium heat. And this here, the moisture is not enough, all right, to cook the rice till soft. And that's the texture we're going for. So I'm gonna add a little more water. Now we don't want the rice to end up being mushy. We just want it to be more tender than fluffy we most definitely don't want it to be fluffy okay so just add enough water and let the water be about the same level as the contents of the pot throw the lid on and then turn the heat down to the lowest setting and cook for the next 25 to 30 minutes and if you're watching up to this point, congratulations and thank you very much. I also have a bonus recipe for you. I'm going to show you how I make my white garifoto, which I presented in a previous video and you all asked to share the recipe. So here we go. This is gari and I'm rehydrating it with some water. And by the way, garifoto is a must have side dish for a wachi. Beast, okay, watch it always goes with Gary Photo. It looks perfectly rehydrated, just a few sprinkles of water will do the trick. Now, let's move on to the next thing I do in this recipe. 
Now, cassava pairs very well with coconut essence. So I have cold pressed coconut oil here, which is very coconut forward in its flavor. I'm just going to melt it and add some aromatics to it. We are almost done preparing this very quick, simple, yet very delicious recipe. So I have some chopped onions here that are going in. You can use your shallots, your red onions, your sweet onions, whichever onions you have available. You just need that aromatic quality. And then I'm going in with some all-purpose seasoning, some dry chili flakes for a little bit of a kick. And you just really want to cook these until they are translucent and also fragrant. Now you also need a little bit of vegetable or chicken bouillon in here. That's going to bring us that lovely savory taste that is quite complimentary in this recipe. Now I'm also throwing in some scallions which I have roughly chopped. Turn the heat off once everything is heated through and also is fragrant. And then go in with your rehydrated curry and start mixing it all together to combine. Yes, friends, this is as simple as it gets with my white Gary for tart recipe. Now, another thing you can do is add some of your watch stew and some of the watch stew oil to get that signature um, orange Gary for tart color. But this is another route which I think you love because you get different textures and you get crunch, fresh aromatic crunch. Beautiful. So yeah, I added a, a little more of the scallions and voila, that is all she she wrote. So I transferred the Gary photo into my serving vessel. And then check on the wache which has been cooking for 30 minutes. My timer just went off. And yeah, there's still a little moisture in here, so I'm going to give it a quick stir. Make sure that the moisture is well incorporated. I'll set the lid back on, continue to cook on low heat for about 10 to 12 more minutes, and our wachi will be done cooking as well. So see how the beans are not mashed in or blended in? They stand out. You can see, say, edit them. Mm-hmm. Yep, so you see the rice and then you see the beans, okay? So you know you're eating rice and beans. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. So although it is soft in texture, not fluffy, you can still tell there's rice and there's beans. Now here is my shito, Nanabe's kitchen shito. I recently shared a beautiful, quick, under 30 minute shito video. You must check out that recipe. It is linked below and you can also look for Nanabe's kitchen shito. You'll find several different shito recipes, including vegan. Now here is my rice vermicelli noodles, which is representing the talia portion of this feast. Perfection. And also the watches stew. I recently made some chicken watches stew or chicken stew with some eggs in it. And so yeah, we're gonna use that. And I also have my salad. The watch is ready. And as authentic as it gets with no sorghum or watchy leaves. And yet look at that color. Very reminiscent of the watchy sold by the uh, street vendors. Yes, they don't use the wache leaves. They just go with the kanwa and they get this perfect color. Friends, I hope that you have learned a thing or two. This wache is so delicious and meaty tasting. Mm. And it's quick and easy to put together, right? You don't need your sorghum leaves all the time. So if you do not have sorghum leaves, you can still cook wache that looks as beautiful as this. And of course, I had some wache packaging leaves. These were sent to me by Chloe B. All right, I have recently shared Chloe B's link, um, her IG link in my community post. So if you're interested in getting these leaves or her other products, make sure you check her out. She will send you some of these leaves. I didn't get them here in the United States because they are nowhere to be found here. So yeah, we have some Talia, we have some Wache, we also have some Gary Photo, and here is the chicken Wache stew. Mm, mm. And of course you need your egg <laughs> and you see how that chicken leg quarter beautifully cradled that egg. <laughs> 
perfection and you need some more of this too and certainly do not forget your shito it isn't watching without the shito and here comes some salad as well yeah that beautiful fresh crunch and that guilt free experience a little salad on the side offers that much needed cooling sensation because watch it can have a kick to it make it a great day friends and family and have fun especially in that kitchen thank you beautiful person for watching the video all the way to the end kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is tough time and here in anaba's kitchen Shop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.